let the peace love and blessings of Jehovah God and his Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Salvation in the new name. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth. Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson Matthew chapter 12 verse 37 For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Golden text, Romans chapter 10 verse 9 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. The source of salvation. Quote, Brethren, the two main texts above summarize the theme of the good tidings you are about to read. Many people have the wrong impression that their salvation rests on man on academic glory and earthly wealth. This gospel will erase this false impression and clarify the real source of your salvation. The source of your salvation is very close to you. It is indeed closer to you than the tongue is to the teeth. It is a pity that you are not aware of this. The cause of the ignorance is due to your faithlessness and because of it you have continued to utter blasphemous and evil words against God. You are warned that you would either be condemned or justified by your words. Certainly your salvation lies squarely in your hands. Hence our Lord Jesus Christ revealed that whoever shall confess and believe, in, and believe in his heart that God raised him from the dead should be saved. So brethren, you should desist from believing that the world situation would have been like it is today if Christ could not have been like it is today if Christ were still physically present on earth. This is because whether or not he is physically present does not influence your salvation. You are only saved if you acknowledge him as the intercessor for man and sincerely believe in his resurrection. All the occurrences in the world today are in line with the original design of God. Actually, nothing takes God by surprise. It is therefore out of outright stupidity that many people profess that they would have believed in Christ if he was still on earth. What stops you from doing so now? Even when you have on several occasions been told that your salvation hangs on you confessing him and believing in, believing in his resurrection. Repeated human history and prolonged sermons do not bring salvation to man. Rather, the only required Rather, the only requirement for salvation is believing fervently in our Lord Jesus Christ and his resurrection. If you were opportune to listen to the testimonies from those who have reaped immense benefits as a result of believing in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, you would not have had any cause to doubt the existence of God or to depend on earthly things for salvation. You can hardly realize 
the great things God has done for this age. Until you listen to the testimonies from various beneficiaries of God's marvelous work of love in this generation. In fact, God has done a lot of wonderful things for this generation, much more than he did for any other generation since creation. You should realize the abundance of God's love for the inhabitants of this world. What else do you want apart from this love? Have you not been assured that God will always answer your supplication whenever you call on his holy name in times of trouble, affliction and lack? No matter the magnitude of your problems or affliction, you are asked to call upon him for instant solution. In granting your request, he does not depend on promises, but spoken words are efficacious. Once he speaks, there is instant result. You are either justified or condemned according to the words that proceed from your mouth. Why do you call on your ancestors or mermaid to help you? Do they have power to accomplish anything? Having faith in lifeless things is idolatry and it leads to perdition. It is only the name of the Father that can bring salvation. This name provides immediate positive result provided it is called with a pure heart. A local adage maintains that a man enslaves himself to what his heart cherishes most. Therefore, if you believe fervently in our Lord Jesus Christ, you would serve him diligently without any doubt as your source of salvation. If you hold fast to this, then your problems are over. At all times you should remember to call upon him, whether in times of need, of problem, of sickness, of persecution, or famine. If you hold firm to Christ, you will never fail to witness positive results in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Man is the architect of his destiny, brethren. Undisputedly, a lot of people who are not yet baptized in the fold of brotherhood, believe sincerely in the Father much more than those who have spent many years in the kingdom. Do not forget that you are the architect of your destiny. Your utterances and uh, your utterances are the tools to be used for your condemnation or your justification. Also, the word you speak will either qualify you as a worldly or godly man. Do not be proud of your status in the society. Recognition in worldly circle or academic attainment as ways to salvation. For these worldly glories will never bring salvation to you. You are enjoined to consistently and truthfully speak edifying words of love and of righteousness. For it is by so doing that salvation would be yours. Words of edification must be accompanied with the confession of him as Lord. Apart from this, you are expected to confess him as your Lord and Savior and believe that God the Father had raised him from the dead. The multipurpose telephone number, brethren, you have been given a telephone number in this kingdom 
and you are instructed to use it anytime you en encounter problem for you would be instantly attended to. The name of your father is the only way out of misfortune. So many members of Brother of the Cross and Star would heartedly believe in the holy oil, while some do not believe in anything at all, hence they often encounter problems. Sincerely, I am disclosing to you that as many as believe in the Father must be saved. This is true because the name of the Father alone gives salvation, and whosoever calls upon him in times of trouble is sure of instant solution to his or her problem. To those who wholly believe in the holy oil and the holy water, where do these two substances come from? Do you not know that without the Father's name, the holy oil and the holy water are ineffective? It is the Father who owns these two substances, and also the name, therefore, which is most readily available and easiest to make use of. I want you to understand that of the tree, holy oil, wa holy oil, holy water, and the holy name. The holy name is the most effective. It provides the telephone number O O O. You should not toy with the name because it is a secret name. All you need to do is just whisper this wonderful name. Have faith and believe in it and your problems are over instantly. The efficacy of this wonderful name, brethren, those who do not believe or have faith in this wonderful name are unfortunately exposing themselves to danger of lack of destruction and death. You are living witnesses to the fact that Anything evil gets scared of the inscription O oh, O oh, O oh, whether it is written be it on walls of your house or on shops or at classrooms or on your cars. If you doubt the efficacy of this wonderful name Endeavor to call it when you are in difficulties or completely hopeless. I am particularly happy with members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star who revere and remember to call on the name in times of hardship and danger. And most especially when they desperately fight to be given an opportunity to testify of its greatness, you should realize that whatever a man loves and cherishes most is what God hates and vice versa. Be not ashamed of the name of the, of the Lord, brethren. If in a bid to please anybody, you ignore this inscription, O, 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 and call the name of Jesus, you will be deceiving yourself. You should neither be afraid of anybody, nor ashamed of the name that gives you salvation. It is a clear fact that during your evangelical ministries, you are warned in the course of offering prayers to people not to use the name Olumba Olumba Obu but the name of Jesus. Brethren, if you accept 
such instruction, it leads to your failure because your prayer would not be answered. No matter its pattern, its style, or its loudness. Sometimes you, you sometimes your friend may warn you never to visit him anymore, except you denounce the name of Olumba Olumba Abu. If you accept this condition in order to please him, it means you have disgraced God and you have mortgaged your salvation for carnal satisfaction. Whosoever despises the name of Olumba Olumba Abu is invariably rejecting peace, happiness, salvation, life, and other good things in life. The significance of brotherhood. Brethren, if I may ask, what is brotherhood? The literal meaning of brotherhood is too superficial to give the significance of the word. The moment you can deeply understand what brotherhood is all about, you will then know the great significance. It is quite ridiculous of being, of belonging to a fold without understanding its aim and objective. What is your opinion of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? Having spent so many years and interacted with the Father and played active part in the activities of the fold, you should now come to the understanding that brotherhood signifies love and without love you cannot have firm belief in the Father. Love operates with the spoken word. Recall what used to happen in the days of the apostles of Christ such as Peter and John. They did not engage in prolonged speeches but wholly depended on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for power to accomplish various works. All they did when confronted with a problem that needed instant solution was to pronounce thus, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your problems are solved. Then Peter said, Silver and gold are by none. But such as I have, give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. That was in Acts chapter 3, verses 6 to 7. The error of this generation, brethren. No other person apart from the twelve apostles witnessed our Lord Jesus Christ carry out healing with the spoken word. So it was through the testimonies of the twelve that the multitude of people believed that the healing effected by our Lord Jesus Christ was by the power of the spoken word. But the situation today has unfortunately changed. You have stubbornly ignored the pattern of testifying of the power in the name of the Father, but chose to hang talisman round your neck. You initiate into secret societies. You indulge in mermaid worship and other obnoxious practices. This digression, therefore, is responsible for all the calamities that plague mankind. God is not crafty or tricky, but straightforward. He does all his things in a perfectly orderly manner. In all his dealing with man, he is plain and truthful. It is for this reason that he provides solutions to man's problems. 
he does not allow you to continue to rely on the old and ineffective names for the solution of your problem. Recall the testimony of Pastor Essa about one of his brothers who was currently a student in Italy. According to Pastor Essa, his brother was traveling to a place when he suddenly lost control of the steering wheel of the car and the car slid into the left lane of the road. As this happened, those with him in the car lost hope of surviving. But just then, the brother called on the father, Ulumba, Ulumba, Ubu, and instantly the father appeared physically and stopped the car from sliding into the valley. To the surprise of everyone present, it was back on the main road. Many more testimonies about people who had narrowly escaped assassination, death by fire, outbreak, plane crash, fatal motor accidents, burglary and shipwreck by calling upon the name of the Father when all hope was lost. Most of your problems are traceable to your faithlessness in the name of the Father. You would rather prefer death than, to, than calling on the Father's name for survival. I want to re-emphasize that you are either condemned or justified according to your utterances. Re-examine the first lesson. First lesson, Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Brethren, many of you have problems because you treat God with contempt. Also, you, con you consciously do not wear white clothing as a way of avoiding being identified as a member of Brothers of Christ and Star. You are sternly warned against this. If you continue in this way, you will have yourself to blame for whatever befalls you in future. You should either remain in the kingdom and have eternal life or be in the world and face perdition. On a serious note, membership in the kingdom entails strict adherence to the tenets of the fold. Similarly, those who put on their white apparel only in the battle premises and not outside should be careful Hence, they will lose their salvation as a result of cowardice. The instruction is that you should, from henceforth, begin to publicly declare yourself as the true, as true children of the Father. Why are you ashamed of the truth? You should boldly identify yourself with God else he will also deny you this is confirmed by the scriptures but whosoever shall deny me before men him will i deny before my father which is in heaven that was in matthew chapter 10 verse 33 brethren have you never heard that many members of brothers of christ and star escaped death because of being identified as children of Olumba or Lumba Obu. The only thing required from you so as to eradicate your problems is mere identification as a child of the Father. You claim that you are hated or persecuted because you are a child of Olumba or Lumba Obu. It's false. Rather, you are faced with such problems because you are a false member of Brother of the Cross and Star or an unidentified child of the Father. 
whosoever is a child of Ulumba, Ulumba, or Boo is never hated by anybody. Everybody loves him. He survives any predicament and eventuality. Everybody loves him. He survives any predicament and eventually becomes a free man. A ready example of someone who escaped death because he declared himself as a child of Abu was Ted. This brother survived public execution in Ghana because he openly declared his identity as a child of Abu. The Christ students are resolute brethren. I am particularly impressed with the members of the Christ student natural choir because of their prominent use of the Father's name in their various choral renditions. Unlike other choirs that prefer the name of Jesus to the Father, the Christ students do not mince words. They are said to have great power. This is true because of their unflinching trust and faith in the Father's wonderful name. This fact is also responsible for their fearlessness in penetrating all nooks and crannies of the world when embarking on evangelical ministry for the salvation of mankind. Recall what happened when the Christ students were sent to be a pan to work on a piece of land as a result of their result. As a result of their resoluteness in exalting the Father's name and glory. On getting to the place, the villagers came out like a swarm of bees to chase them away, but they were not afraid. The villagers contacted the police who tried to drive them away, but they remained even more adamant. As a last threat to scare them away from the land, the villagers used the name of Jesus on them. But they would not move. But suddenly and surprisingly, the villagers changed their minds and decided to use the name of Olumba Olumba Obu to beg them to vacate the land. As soon as the father's name was mentioned, the Christ students, with an air of victory, abandoned the farmland. As a result of fact, the Christ students are the number one in the kingdom, as they are correctly rated. This is so because they have strong belief and faith in the father. But many people have not identified with the Father's name. Now, everybody knows the name Obu. They easily understand what you mean when you say that you are a brother out of the cross and star member. So when you tell somebody that you are a member of Obu's church, you are merely summarizing the issue and activities of the kingdom. Man is always at variance with God, brethren. It, it is unquestionably true that the name Ulumba Ulumba Obu is widely known, honored and revered by every being in all planes of manifest except the earth. It is sad and shocking that the members of this plane have refused to acknowledge the Father as God personified in human form. Conversely, 
man has opted to openly honor and glorify fetish juju mermaid graven images and various elementary gods also instead of seeking the glory of god they have chosen to seek earthly glory however i am not at all surprised at the idolatrous ways of man because from the beginning man has always been at variance with god from this you can understand that man rather loves what god hates and vice versa Disappoint, disappointingly for a man his actions cannot alter the will of god this point should be made clear to everybody any personality in the trinity you choose to call whether it is father son or holy spirit you are not wrong but you should always remember that the present age is the era of the Holy Spirit and so he deserves to be accorded all glory it is grievous it is a grievous offense to misdirect the glory meant for the Holy Spirit to another way sometimes ago at Abba a certain woman a devoted member of the apostolic church was visited at night by men of the underworld armed robbers the, the armed robbers ordered her to pack all her belongings into their waiting car she did not hesitate but humbly complied with the instruction after packing her entire belongings into the car, she asked to say her last prayer before her imminent death. Brethren, the woman was so terrified that in the course of trying to mutter out the prayer, fortunately and, and incidentally, she started with, Oh, 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 my father! And with this unexpected pronouncement, the robbers sought to know her religious identity. Are you a child of Abu? The bandits asked. And the woman said yes. Consequently, she was not hurt. The robbers, trembling, assisted her to return her belongings into her room and hurriedly left without hurting her early the following morning the woman ran to a nearby battle and desperately sought to be baptized into brother of the cross and star it was then that it dawned on her that she was actually wasting her time all the while in the apostolic church the Holy Spirit on earth, brethren, there is no difficulty that you cannot be rescued from by mere mentioning of the name of the Holy Father. The advent of the Holy Spirit is the last divine manifestation on earth. His coming is not for fun, but for the fulfillment of his predestined assignment of bringing mankind to the accurate knowledge of truth as stated in john chapter 16 verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come brethren has this saying not been fulfilled today have you not been taught the divine truth this is the era of the Holy Spirit, and so everything must work accordingly to the pronouncement of the name of the Father. All those who have been carrying out researches aimed at discovering the power in the name 
have wonderful testimonies to tell. One of their startling discoveries is that the entire creations of God in all planes of manifest humbly reverence the same name Olumba, Olumba, Obu. The medical doctors, Juju priests and secret societies are also clearly aware of the supremacy of the wonderful name. Then the question is why have you parade the streets claiming to be children of God but not believing in the name? This is a serious case and calls for great concern. I have openly informed you that unless you believe fervently in this name, you cannot have life. After all, this is the name that was written about that the Gentiles would believe in. The divine truth has been clearly written in the holy book. And in his name shall the Gentiles trust. That was in Matthew chapter 12, verse 21. The new name of God, brethren. You cannot have salvation if you fail to believe in the name Olumba, Olumba, Obu. In spite of the great work you claim to have done in the fold, you should be fully aware that the change of law accompanies a change of leadership. So, the Holy Spirit has in our time come with a new name as a fulfillment of what was written. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God which is the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. That was in Revelation chapter 3, verses, verse 12. Brethren, this indeed confirms the reason everything in the kingdom is made anew to conform to the new name of God. In other words, we are secured in the new world order. In the past, people who claimed to be Christian were also idol worshippers. They adulterated the religion. One could easily identify those who profess to be Christian and at the same time worship idols. But in the kingdom of God, it is not so. No other kind of worship is permitted here. It is either you completely worship the Father or you pack your things and leave. The kingdom does not entertain idolatry. The problem plaguing the world is as a result of man's refusal to adhere to God's injunction in conjunction with the laws of the new world. A lot of you are yet to come out of the influence of the, outda of the outdated laws of Moses. If you are disputing this fact, why have you not accepted the salvation giving name? Can you imagine a situation where somebody came to see the Father, and after he had been blessed and asked to go for his problems have been solved, instead of thanking the Father, he would demand from the Father a talisman for his protection. Brethren, apart from distrust in the name of God, what else would one term this act? It is this habit of requesting for a talisman or a ring after a prayer is offered that is responsible for fraudulent behavior of some preachers 
who capitalize on this to give people anything for a fee. You who use such means to defraud and deceive people, do you have trust in the name of the Father? You would not have practiced falsehood in any way if you were to trust in the name of the Father. Brethren, it is genuine and undisputable that the name of the Father Olumba Olumba Obu is the source of salvation, of liberty, of strength, and of good health. I personally call on no other name apart from the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and teach you to pray with it and use it at the beginning of your daily communication. Mark you, the name Olumba Olumba Obu is a secret name not yet known to the inhabitants of the world except those whom the Father has revealed it to. Re-examine the golden text. The golden text, Romans chapter 10, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. A costly mistake, brethren. Christians all over the world suffer undue persecution because they have refused to confess that our Lord Jesus Christ died and resurrected. It is not uncommon to find adherents of different churches going about and shouting, Jesus, Jesus, at the top of their voices. This does not accord in his due honor. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord and should be addressed as such. Brethren, a word is enough for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.